Hello Tavos, welcome back to the channel. In 1966, Chrysler Australia released the Chrysler Valiant VC range of cars. Hold it, wait, 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 come back guys, only kidding. Yeah, I hate those AI voices as much as you do. <laughs> Just teasing you. Now as our old AI mate said, uh, in 1966 the VC was released to replace the AP6 and it turned out to be a very popular model amongst uh, current enthusiasts. It's a, a very popular car, well loved. It was built on the AP6 turret, all the centre sections there that was all identical. Uh, it had the US 66 front panels and a local grille, very conservative looking thing, slotted in there between the headlights. Uh, extensive rework to the rear panels make it, made it look a much bigger car than its predecessor. And uh, to add to that, those low cut wheel arches made it look even bigger. Just made it give it that longer, sleeker look. Under the skin there were more improvements. Um, the torque flight was now fully linkage controlled, replacing the cable shift unit on the AP6. The manual gearbox was now a full synchro gearbox on all three gears. And later builds got a Borg Warner 75 diff, replacing the US source 7.25 inch. The base model here was a pretty Spartan car compared to the others. But it was still much better equipped than the uh, equivalent base Holden and Falcon of the day and still ran the 145 horse 225 slant 6. And a column shift 3 speed manual or automatic transmission. The V8 was only available with the floor shift automatic transmission. The interior was updated with uh, a mirrored 66 US dash which suited the reworks on the exterior very well. The V8 model um, still retained its mandatory vinyl roof on sedans with, along with the uh, comfy bucket seats which were an improvement over the AP6 seats. Uh, it got a longer floor console and uh, two-tone steering wheel taken from the Regal model. Standard heater as it was the upmarket uh, top of the line car. On the outside it scored a bit of extra bling like these sergeant stripes here and the uh, unique rear boot mould leading down to the V8 badge just to assert its uh, dominance on the market. The station wagon wasn't quite as lucky. That uh, retained all of the AP6 Australian build body rear wood of the A pillar and uh, the only real change on the back of the car was that big chunky squared off bumper being um, adapted onto the curvaceous, you could say, AP6 bodywork. It had a, a rubber filler panel in between uh, the corners there. Uh, yeah, it was a bit cheap, but that's Chrysler for you. Uh, the rest of the car obviously was all upgraded, the same as the sedan, interior-wise and the front end. Uh, it did, however, have the distinction of being the only Australian Valiant to feature white reversing lights. As you can see there on the uh, bottom of the main tail light, with the indicators being put in the bumper. All other Australian Valiants, from first to last, had amber reverse lights incorporated in the rear turn signals. Just a little bit of trivia there. And the VC range uh, did have its first, like other models, but this was in the form of the Dodge Ute, uh, which wasn't actually designated the VC model, it was called a Dodge 106C. Rather curious, but still. Uh, this was a bare bones stripper model, and uh, it even had painted bumpers and hubcaps and the grille headlight surrounds, as you can see in the picture there. Basically no bright work, no um, drip rail mouldings, and it was devoid of such luxuries as courtesy door light switches, uh, interior mirror was missing, only had uh, one sun visor on the driver's side, 
and um, yeah it was a cheap workhorse and that's what it was designed as you can see the uh, prototype model there and that's basically how they were released uh, of course the uh, Wayfarer Ute was still available and you can see the bright work on there that the Dodge was missing and um, that was built with all the same standard features of the Valiant sedans. So I guess guys that's about it for the VC. Um, not much more to tell if I've missed anything. Apologies for that. And uh, yeah, I hope you um, want to join us in the next video. Which will be the VE model. Um, the third generation. First model. And uh, there's a few nice things to say about that car. Alright guys, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you do. And um, yeah, give this video a like if you do like it. If you don't like it, tell me why in the comments. Yeah, I'm a bit stuttery at the moment, uh, having trouble keeping to the script, but that's life. It's a real life video. Uh, not the AI bloke at the beginning. So, um, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Till then, guys, take care, and I'll see you then.